are back with another video on easy math okay today is monday so and video on permutations and combinations and this is our last video on permutations and combinations from next video we will learn about binomial theorem okay today let's see some examples on permutations and combinations how to solve the problems on permutations and combinations okay in problems of permutations and combinations the main thing is that we will not get the answer if we just substitute values in the formula we should think of that we should think of a way in which we should use those formula there will be some easy ones and tough ones let's go by easy med medium and tough okay first let's start by our first question that is there are five freshmen eight sophomores and seven juniors in a chess club a group of six people with same class are chosen find total possibilities okay what is this question first we should understand we should take six people from same class means they may be freshmen or sophomores or juniors we should take six people from same class okay six people from same class means it may be six people from freshmen or six people from sophomores or six people from juniors okay in freshmen there are only five of them how can we take a group of six people so that is not possible so we should take off them and we should take six people from eight sophomores how is this possible there are eight possibilities and six boxes we should find there is it is a group so we should find combinations so it will be 8c6 which is 8 factorial by 6 factorial into 2 factorial is equal to 28 okay if you don't know this please check out previous videos on permutations and combinations you will get this concept okay now there may be also a possibility for a group of six juniors what is the value of this it is 7c6 because it is also a combination a group so seven possibilities so here the total possibilities are 28 plus 7 okay why is this why we should add those two why we should add 28 and 7 okay if we form group of six sophomores means in 28 ways we can also form group of six juniors means seven ways right there are possibilities of both of that but they can't happen in one possibility so we should add the total possibilities so total possibilities are 35 okay now let's see our second question okay three prizes are distributed among five students if no students get more than one prize find total possibilities okay this cropping is some problem you you may not be able to see full question okay this is the question there are three pi three prizes and they should be distributed among five students each student will not get more than one prize three prizes distributed among five people how to find the solution of this there are five students we should distribute three prizes means there are five possibilities we should arrange them in three ways okay how is this if we take actually we will think like students are constant and students will get prizes but we should think this question in a different way how that is each prize will go to each of the student means as we discussed in examples each box will be chosen a value from all the possibilities we should see this reverse then what will be three prizes are distributed first prize in first prize it can go to first student or second student or third student or fourth student second prize it can also go to one to five but 
it will have only four possibilities because price is gone to some person in one and five one to five but second price will not be gone to to whom the first price is gone means four possibilities and similarly third price will have three possibilities but here these prices can be distributed in any way means for example if first price go to first person second price go to second person third price go to third person may also be like first price go to second person means it is in the form of a combination so the total possibilities are 5c3 which is nothing but 5 factorial by 3 factorial into 2 factorial 10 okay now our third one is some confusing one let's see how to solve that when six coins are tossed simultaneously how many possibilities in which at most three coins are heads okay how to solve this question six coins are tossed three coins should be heads at most three coins means there is no possibility of more than three coins being heads right means zero coins may be heads one coin may be head two coin may be heads three coins may be heads right there are only at most three coins means this okay then what will be the total possibilities in our first problem we discussed that if there are different cases the total possibilities will be sum of those all cases so the total possibilities are possibilities at which zero or heads possibilities at which one is head possibilities at which two are heads and three are heads so zero or heads means how many possibilities will be if there are zero heads in another way it means that all are tails means there is just one possibility and one is head how to think of this how many possibilities will we have Okay, one is head means the first one may be head, second one may be head, third one, fourth one, fifth one or sixth one. So, six possibilities. Okay, two are heads. Then it can be written as 6C2. Okay, how is this possible? Based on the idea of our second problem, we, we have discussed that in a reverse way. Let's discuss this in that way. Means two coins are heads. First coin and second coin may be first and third or first and fourth, but it is not repeated. First and third are heads, let us imagine. Then third and first are also heads. Means it is a combination, right? In a group, order does not matter. So we should find the combination, which is 6C2, means 6 factorial by 2 factorial into 4 factorial. If you solve that, you will get 15. And there are three heads. Three heads means also same way. For example, first, second, and third are heads. Second, first, third, or second, third, first can be arranged in six ways. Means it is a combination. So it will be six C three, which is nothing but six factorial by three factorial into six minus three, three factorial, which is nothing but forty. Okay, if you not understand how to calculate this. Check out my previous videos on permutations and combinations. You will find out how to solve these. So the total possibilities are 1 plus 6 plus 15 plus 40. Means you should add all these. Okay, again I am explaining why we should add all these. Okay, if 0 or heads, they asked at most 3 coins or heads. Means 0 coins may be heads, 1, 2, 3 may be heads. Okay, why we should add them? Why we can't multiply or subtract or divide them? Because here if 0 or heads, it is not related to one coin is head. Those both are separate combinations. So, if they are separate, we should add to get the total possibilities. Okay guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring that bell icon, hit notification and release a new video. If you have any doubts, comment on below. I'll answer them in the next video. In next video, in next Monday, binomial theorem.